here we are in Fairfield, California. This is the Jelly Belly Factory. If you get a little closer, I'll show you the address. I believe it's one Jelly Belly Lane. You parked on the side. Let me come over here and show you. I don't know if you can see off in the distance, but there's a little Jelly Belly guy right there. And they've got some signage as you're coming in right now it's a, about 85 degrees today and as you're coming in you'll see these pillars here um, one says gifts candy cafe tours um, it's in a very industrial area so there's not much around here you can see it when you're getting off of the freeway Here it says tours, gifts. There's a big, huge jelly belly jelly bean. Oh, lost focus here. I'll have to get closer. Um, but behind the American flag or underneath it, that's the sign that you can see from the freeway. Uh, over here, where that jelly belly figurine is, there is a museum. It looks like that's what the awning says. here before it's been a few years and I will get the pricing once we get inside this is a very affordable family activity they have a jelly belly tram out in the front the California Welcome Center for Fairfield is also over here they are open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. As you would imagine, there is a store, a Jelly Belly store. There is also a cafe inside. The tours are only available from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. You have the option of doing a self-guided tour, which is a lot less expensive than the guided tour. The guided tours, I believe, I think they're like 200 bucks. I'm not sure if that was for a family or for a person, but that wasn't an option for us. Uh, those are only offered three day, three times a day, I'm sorry. Uh, the self-guided tours, I believe you can do at your leisure. And you can do those throughout the day. There's no reservation needed for those. The candy production is only done during the week, Monday through Friday. So the tour is a little bit limited as far as what you're able to see. Once you get inside, but done this tour maybe two or three times in my life and even without the employees being present it's a good time so here's some signage here self-guided factory museum tours seven dollars for adults three dollars for kids over two active military is a 20 percent discount ages two and under are free some jelly bean artwork. I'm going to come in close so you can see. Blazed. We've got Yoda and Darth Vader. This is a Star Wars collection, those two. And Elsa and Anna. This is the lobby here. We've got the huge inflated jelly belly. It's not busy at all here. I've never seen it this empty, honestly restrooms and the cafe are over here on this side um, tour and tickets can be purchased over here and then this is the gift shop they also have a chocolate shop over here not known for their chocolate and I believe the tour starts upstairs but they've got some candy and caramel apples Just a bunch of merch. Lots of stuff over here. You can buy per pound. Oh, that looks wonderful. 
fudge tends to be too sweet for me. Oh, I've got a CD and a chocolate cell phone. Oh, that's wonderful. And then I've got Rocky Road, Hanberry Bark, Toffee. They've got a ton. I mean, as you can imagine, of course they're going to have candy all over this place. There's the fudge. I believe these are prices per pound, or maybe some per piece. Everything's kept behind the register. And they've got these laid out all around. And here's a display of some of their fudge. That is pretty intense. I'm not a huge fan, but I'll eat it. But we're going to get situated and try to figure out if we can go on this tour, and we will be back with you. So these were um, some things that we were given, including with the tour cost. Some strawberry licorice dogs, and some chocolate Harry Potter coins. And probably because they've got an entire palette of both of these that they're trying to unload. Or just because they're really nice. And they've got Jelly Belly Sparkling Water for 99 cents. Chocolate and birthday cake. And that looks like regular water down there. That's $2.50. As you can see, these beautiful people have these Jelly Belly hats on, which is a, a requirement for the duration of the tour. And I just found out that the tram you saw outside is included in the cost of the tour. So that's cool. And off we go. Yes. That's what I was talking about. So no flash photography, no eating or drinking, and keep your hat on at all times. And off we go. This carpet looks much better on camera than it does in person.
I have never seen it this empty. They're, they're, they're off on weekends, so they're not out here working today. But that's the fact. So you that's used to be able to get up close. They've got a rope out here now. So. Someone messed that up for everyone else, but this is the production floor here. Pretty nice that they give their employees weekends off. So this is very Cherry Lane where they do packaging and history. And here are most of the flavors. I'm sure they've added some since the last time we've been here. They're pretty innovative with the um, the bean boozled and the spicy collection. I don't know what any of these machines do. So. That thing's moving. It's just going to look like this throughout the factory. delicious-looking candy waterfall isn't even the best part of this machine? That's right, it has another trick up its sleeve. After that beautiful candy is packaged in the bags, it's time for everyone's favorite part. This, my friends, is known as a spider packer. 
and you don't have to be a machine lover to be hypnotized by how these daddy long legs do their jobs. The first time I saw All the, the way packer, back there, like, oh these are the racks God, where they hold the jelly beans. I do know that much. But the rest of this is Cooper entering the production area. And when the head goes down the So let's keep going. It will actually orient the bag just perfectly in the box. That camera sees off. Yeah, that was the first time Joe Brad showed us how to and they weren't jelly belly at that time. Mm -hmm. They were the original gourmet jelly beans. He did not start using jelly belly until after 1976. For President Reagan's inauguration, we sent three and a half tons of red, white, and blue jelly belly jelly beans to the inaugural committee. Turned out to be a thousand jars that would go on tables all over Washington, D.C., airports, hotels, reception tables, and everything else. At the time, we didn't have a blue color for the red, white, and blue. So Herm created the Blueberry Jelly Belly, which matches the blue of the American flag. But the story hit the newswire is that President elect Reagan didn't eat just any jelly bean, but a jelly belly jelly bean. We were inundated. Every newspaper, magazine, radio, TV station, uh, all over the country, particularly in California, inundated us. And the dust finally settled in 77 years. Most of them are covered with glass, but these are not. Really close. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Below, you'll see a perfect example of the collaboration between the mechanical and human members of the team. Some and now we're entering Blueberry Boulevard, the smell like station and bean art area. Other processes are better left to machines, such as applying the piping hot steam to secure the machine. Bunch of art there. Everything works in harmony. Send your favorite treats out the door. Lots of Bay Area stuff. You've got Niners, Giants, lots of Never knew that. What was the world's first savory flavored jelly bean? Oh, my favorite! Butter popcorn. I'm not a huge fan of the chocolate pudding. This machine wraps cellophane around the box with a tear tape placed in the immediate openings. Edges are tucked like a birthday combination and tack the heat to seal them. Everything is moving so fast and we can't slow down now. Workers hand pack the 175 boxes that per minute into caddies for shipping. They work fast, packing up the boxes and getting them ready to ship out. Assembly lines aren't always this well oiled. A jam, misbeam, uh, miscalibration, or clog along the conveyor nice. will slow or stop the flow. Uh, Workers and mechanics supervise each packaging line constantly and are there to set it right again if there's a bike in the action. All the way down, what is this, Blueberry Lane? Oh, this must be pineapple. You may have noticed how different the machines look Fresh pineapple. In the I beg your pardon. Each is specialized for the jelly belly act. Can you spot the same team? The one thing they all have in common is that they all have beautiful part of this circle. I like these. What are my favorites? Very good. Just like all of them. Artwork up there. And Ronald Reagan's favorite flavor, licorice. Oh, we're done here. There we go. So I think these are waiting to be glossed. Yeah, they're waiting to go in the pan. The Jelly Belly jelly beans are delicious and fun to eat. But did you know they can also be used to make real works of art? From afar, this looks like a regular mosaic. 
But here, look closer. Even closer. It's actually made entirely out of jelly beans. Yeah, so I'd rather eat mine. Jelly beans, it makes for a great artist palette. Making jelly belly Maybe art this is over the years. The first jelly belly portrait by Yep, that's another good one. Yeah. The fruit flavors are very good. Oh, I think this one is root beer. Correct. I'm not sure if I, I don't know if I like that one. And America's favorite flavor, I'm going to guess, is cherry. Of course. Of course. Looks like here is the flavoring department. Lost the children. Oh, and here's some more stuff over here. And these pans look like they're empty, but the ones behind them are stacked with a bunch of jelly beans. Spin that wheel and I push down on the handle. Early 1900s. So I was, I guess, a pretty good rascal down there. Oh, look, Oakland. There was probably... Um, no idea. Eight to 12 people in the slow season and maybe 20 people oh. in the busy season. Our office was about 14 by 14. Green Apple Road. And there was burlap hanging Oh, there's the a game coming up. We were told like about four this. four in there. all crammed in. I was This is where the pounds are. Hi, folks. Hello. Are you guys enjoying this tour so far? Yeah. I'm sorry? Are you guys enjoying this tour so far? Okay. Do you guys have any questions about the machines, candy, anything like that? Nah. Yeah, I don't. Do you guys have any questions? He's been reading the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know you were able to sniff it. I thought you just, I thought you just press it and then it like... It says the answer or something. So they, that's what they put them in to shine them up. That's how they make them shiny. More pans back there. It suddenly got really warm in here. I love that it's empty in here. Real stuff. Real coffee, real chocolate, real puree, real juice. Go play, Genesis. She's not ready yet. That's what it was. It was that game that he was talking about. Oh. You guys want to try out the game for your simple game? Go ahead. Here. All you want to do is stand right here in the yellow box. Okay, but we're going to begin here. We said that all you want to do is move your hands and block all the buildings on the screen, okay? Remember? You said like this, not like this. Not like this. Yeah, I got to use it for a little. Get them off! Get them off! First time you know what's up is move your hands, okay? Get them! I'm going to say something about snow. Don't move. Bonus round. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. It says the tour continues over there. It says the tour continues over there, but I don't see anything going on. So let's yeah, keep going this way. way.
1922 is when they moved to Oakland. 1986. This Most of the Jelly Belly beans that you find in North America are made right here in Fairfield, California. When I was three years old, we were out in pretty much the open fields, and I remember my dad driving his tractor full of jelly beans for groundbreaking ceremony. He dumped the full bucket all over the ground, and those beans grew into the factory that we have today. In Thailand, we made it. Oh, okay. Here are the new things. I don't think I've ever had an organic one. I think I've tried the sport beans. And here we have a closer look. Actually, no, I'll get down here. I have a feeling that's a juicy pear on the left. Blueberry on the right. It is very warm in here. It was rotten egg. And here I was on camera with nothing to spit into, no cup, no napkin, no nothing. And I just had to swallow it. The boozled is really only for the brave and the sprung of stuff. Yeah. I took the challenge. Are you brave? I think I tried the spoiled milk one. Oh. It's just. Oh, look. I figured I'd try something that I've eaten before. Oh, I knew what to prepare it to. C and A sugar, <laughs> which is made just down the road in Crockett, California. Look at them using local ingredients. And here we are in on Tangerine Avenue, which is where the robots are and the finishing boxes. Ready to head out of the factory. All of those boxes end up here. The robots on this side. Let's take a look at the long journey a box takes to get here. Oh, they got the fans going over the production floor, but we need that over here. All that tumbling gives the beans their signature shiny look. It's a little like polishing rocks in a rock tumbler. And the noise is similar, too. Make no mistake, it's loud in there. 380 pounds of jelly beans per pan are helped in the drying process by the attached blowers. Once the beans are nice and shiny, workers unload them into trays of 25 pounds and stack them on carts. Oh, that's heavy. And then it's time once again to rest. The stacks of trays are wheeled into the area right and behind there you. there they are. Where rows and rows of colorful jelly beans are a picturesque reminder of just how many different true to life flavors are. Yeah, I guess it's on. more important to have fans on the candy so they don't sell. So. It can hold more than 200 million jelly beans. Those look like somebody's hands have been right here in Fairfield. <laughs> to factory in North Chicago, Illinois. Somebody grabbed a handful out of that one. Oh, this must be licorice. Yeah, those are fair. Somebody stuck their hand in that one. Yeah, quality control management. And lemon way, bean sorting. Oh, there's a game, the other game. And I think this is, are we getting close to where we started? I think so. This tour is almost over. We're going to let this family finish this game. And I'll get back to recording. Yeah. Our jelly bunny jelly beans. Our collection. 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 Our
The workers sit okay. at the top to survey the beams. Right, Anything that doesn't live up to strict quality standards is sent back to the vehicle. You have to have a sharp eye and quick two. hands. With that quality check yes, complete, Jelly Belly Beans finally load the tubes that feed into the Jelly Bean printer. Grooves just the right size and shape to fit a Jelly Bean and collect the beans as they feed in. A roller with white food coloring, similar to what makes marshmallows white, transfers the logo onto a sponge roller. The beans pass under the sponge roller and are lightly kissed with that logo. It happens quickly, so watch closely. It's not a lot of pressure, but it's enough. This printer can print 20,000 logos per minute. Every Jelly Belly Jelly Bean, including those trickster Bean Boozle Jelly Beans, gets a logo. We even print on the white beans, like coconut, French vanilla, and cream soda. You just have to look really hard to see them. Remember, it's not a real Jelly Belly Bean, unless it has the logo. 15 seconds. Good morning. Just because we made a jelly bean doesn't necessarily guarantee that we made a jelly belly jelly bean. Only those of the proper flavor, color, shape, and size can move along on their journey to have the jelly belly name stamped on them. So when does a jelly bean become a real jelly belly jelly bean? Right about here is where it happens. Our robot friend down there has a lot of heavy lifting to do as it loads tray after tray of well-rested jelly beans into this very large metal drum. The beans tumble around a bit, and as they do, are moved toward the back of the drum. There, there's two specially devised screens awaiting them. The first is sized so that any candy that's too small to get a perfect jelly belly yeah. jelly bean falls through. <laughs> the second screen allows only the perfect If she was only picking the belly flop, she wouldn't touch the regular jelly beans. That's why she didn't win. She was way ahead. Looks like this is the end of the tour, folks. All those beans would wrap around the earth approximately five times. What's a Jelly Belly Jelly Bean's most popular time of year? Easter, of course. Five billion Jelly Belly Beans fill Easter baskets every year. That's a lot of berry cherry, butter popcorn, and licorice, which happen to be the three most popular flavors in America. Oh, butter popcorn, one of the most popular flavors. Yeah, I don't understand that. Well, that concludes the tour, folks. Hope you enjoyed it more than I did. Only because I wasn't able to enjoy it as much since I was recording. But I've been here before, so. It's a good time. I highly recommend you come during the week if possible so you can actually see the jelly beans being made and the machines in motion. But either way, it's a very cool experience for kids, especially if they love jelly beans. And um, be prepared to spend some time in the gift shop and spend a little money. I'm a huge fan of the belly flops, honestly. Nothing wrong with a little irregularity because they still taste the same. Thank you for visiting. This is the chocolate and wine tasting experience, which is kid friendly. We have a non-alcoholic experience available. <laughs> We've got one that doesn't eat chocolate. These are good. Whoever did all this oh, art. Okay. I want to have a gallery. Not a big one. Back downstairs we go to the gift shop. I definitely want some jelly beans.
I'll meet you over here, Mom. I'm going to go mm -hmm. take a look over here. So they have breakfast from 9 to 10.45, seven days a week. She doesn't look too bad. Kids menu and lunch is from 11 to 3. The kids wanted to eat here, but yeah, typical, I guess, California American food. It's cute in here, though. It's nice to know that they have it. And they've got ice cream, which is not Jelly Belly flavor. So that's not fun. But there is a snack bar menu. And they are open from, it says 9 to 5. But there's no one over here, so we're going to head out. Oh my goodness. Look at the milk tea. Look, Genesis. And it's a keychain when you finish eating it. What are the flavors here? Mango, taro, matcha, strawberry, and Thai milk tea. Feel like a kid in a candy store. Mm -hmm. Got every single flavor you can think of. This is ridiculous. Crispy cream donuts, Dr. Pepper. Sugar-free. Okay, I actually want to buy something. So I'm going to stop recording so I can focus on what I want. And away we go. Tram tour here at Jelly Belly Factory in beautiful Fairfield, California. On a very beautiful spring Saturday afternoon, the day before Mother's Day, as a matter of fact. Oh, they have a dog walking. What, is that place open? Yes. Yeah. We can go inside? Yeah. Is there more food? Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. Go ahead, dude. Open the door. Please. Thank you, sir. Hey, how's it going? Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hold that for me, man. Just for a second while I take my glasses off. Or you can hold on to it forever. 
All right, good for me, good for me. I mean you, good job. That's a, therm touch yeah, that's, a, that's a thermometer. Yeah, that's super heavy. Mm -hmm. Ill candy corn. The worst invention of candy next to black licorice. Yeah, well, she's she. There's a lot of people that love actually, love candy corn. By looking at this, I bet you can't tell that they're in Oakland. Nineteen thirties. That actually seems a little scary. The film footage, I mean. No, I'm playing. I'm joking. So, if you didn't, if you can't already tell, we're on that tram, tour jumps, uh, stops here at the museum, and uh, that's it. It goes back to the front. We thought it was a tour. Thought we thought we were going around a whole place, 15, 20 minutes or so. Now, hey, we're back in Oakland. <laughs> oh, it's a scale. It's pretty sweet. Let's read this. Scale manufacturer Toledo Henry. Toledo. Toledo Henry. You know where Toledo is? No. In Ohio. <laughs> those words, those words, are pretty long, and uh, yeah, I get you. That's a chocolate melter. Folks, just putting it in a pot and put turning on the heat. It's a, it's its own thing. That's that's pretty cool. What the heck is Holland? Where is Holland? Yeah. It's across the pond, man. It's across the pond. Of it. Yeah, it probably it's the is the same. Concept. It's probably yeah, it's the same just, one, it's just dude. A different color. It's pretty old. It's, it's the coating. Yeah, the coating pan. That's yeah. where they put the the glaze on. I'm assuming. Oh, 
Oh, they made jaw, jaw breakers and everything in there. This place is like 20 minutes away from Sacramento. Or a little more. That's your point. That's my point. It's just... It's 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 actually more like a 45 minutes away from Sacramento. And then there's also this thing that you use to control like all the stuff. So what's the problem? It says like all the stuff here. These are all the buttons that makes the machine work. All the buttons. Hot chocolate. Yeah, if you want hot chocolate, that's the button you push. <laughs> no, that's Christmas time. See, you guys, it's right there. It's right here. Oh, like right there. On top of my finger, everyone. And then, what is this? It's like a compressor or something. It's pretty cool. And then now, those are all these. I'm talking about this if I'm an engineer, but everybody knows I'm not. Oh, not yet. I, 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 I don't believe there are many eight-year-old engineers out there. There are there there are plenty of eight-year-old aspiring engineers, such as yourself. Yeah. Like, That's what it looks like. I mean, the bad filler. And then there's this. Medium, large. I don't That's, know what the heck that is. That's the sealer. It seals the bag. The cooling tables. This is what they would put them on so the candy would cool off. Oh, you know the chocolate kisses? Yeah. This is the thing that wraps them. Pretty sweet. But we all know they're made by a um, Yeah, well, they started somewhere. And I'm sure Hershey's, Hershey's probably uses the same thing. If you guys want to go to the Hershey one, it's all, it is in Pennsylvania. That's yeah, pretty far. I have no desire. That's actually east. Wait, North is like. North is up, yes. East is yeah, that, north way. Is that way. Real, oh. I think north is that way. Alright, that's a good thought. It's a good, you know. It's a good guess. Yeah. Is it goat? I would eat the money, Evelyn. I forgot which one mom is. I would eat the mouth. Was mom a rat? I mean, a rapper dress. <laughs> a rapper's dress. Pretty nice. That is a big jelly bean. Yeah, I'm not going in there. No, you're not. If there's a possible chance that I can break that thing and nobody else can see they're dancing. Chorus line. Can can jelly beans. Da, 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 da. Is that the no that's not the chorus line song. That's alright, it's probably been doing this for Years, non-stop. The only ones with their legs are the blue one, this yellow one, and this pink one. All, all of them, all, all the other ones. It's a big box. That's a big box of jelly beans. Price is right there, dude. So open your eyes and read. 
See, you said three dollars. Jelly beans. Rose. Yeah. Nice. 